Once you have registered your account, you can create your absence using SmartFind Express. You're asked to enter your access ID and your password, which might be different from your PIN. Once you've done that, click Submit, and you may have to verify that you are not a robot. Now you're able to create your absence by clicking Create an Absence. At this time, you need to say whether a substitute is required or not. In my case, a substitute is not, so I click No. If a substitute is required, you would click Yes. Select Continue, and you'll be taken to the next screen, and the location and classification will be filled out for you. Now, for the reason, if you're a teacher, you only have one reason, it's general leave. If you are another employee, you might have some other options. Again, we have this is a substitute required, so if you need to change that, you're able to do that. Next, you will select the date. Now, if you're a teacher, you might need to take a half day absence at least. It depends on the campus, so make sure you check with your administrators. It's hard to find a substitute for less than half a day, so chances are you will need to take half a day. Um, since I'm going to be gone on Thursday the 13th, I'm going to untick Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, ah, and Friday, and I'm going to adjust the time to suit my needs. So I will only be taking an hour. So I'm just going to verify it's from three to four. Okay, if I have any file attachments, so if you have any lesson plans or things like that, you're welcome to upload those. If you want to just leave them at your school, you can do that as well. Again, this is kind of a practice where you should ask your administrators what they expect. So I'm going to click continue to be taken to the next screen. And now it's telling me, hey, you've created your absence. So it's, well, it's not created until I press the create absence button, but it's reviewing all of the information again. So you can double check, is the date correct? Is the time correct? Okay, so now I click create absence and job creation successful. So I can see that it is there. We also have the ability to review any absences. So when you click on that tab, you can actually search from a specific date. So if I wanted to go all the way back to the beginning of the school year, so you'll see how many absences I have taken to, ay ay, <laughs> to another date. Here we go, let's do my full contract. All right, so I can search or I could search by job number, but it's going to say, um, all of the dates that you've taken off and times. So that's kind of a handy tip too. This is how to use the Unified Talent Smart Find Express. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know. And thank you for watching.